Fields are used in Pixie to store data and to build a profile of your clients and your contacts. They can also be used to personalize certain parts of Pixie, for example, automated emails and instructions in tasks, but we'll cover more how to do that in the workflow template section later. Now, the great thing about Pixie is just how flexible the fields are. So you can add as many or as few as you like. It's really up to you. Now, there are a number of different client field types available, including text and link fields, date fields, number fields, and yes and no fields. At the client level, the different types of fields that you might start to think about include key date fields, for example, year-end dates or even payroll dates. Profile fields, for example, the industry of the client or the bookkeeping software that they use. And even things like service fields, are they a tax client or are they a weekly bookkeeping client? At the contact level, some example fields you might start to think about include things like personal addresses, driving license numbers, or maybe even social security numbers. Now we do have some handouts available below this video, giving you some examples of both different client and contact fields. These are just to give you some inspiration. They by no means mean that you have to use all of the fields on there. So now that we understand the role that client and contact fields play, let's jump onto the laptop and we can take a look at how to add new fields, but also how to update client records once the fields have been created. Now that we understand the role that client fields and contact fields play in Pixie, let's take a look at how we can add these fields into your workspace. We need to go to settings at the top and we'll start with client fields. Once we're in here, you have the choice of adding new fields by scrolling down, clicking on add custom field, giving the field a name, choosing a field type, and then clicking save. You can also make fields required by toggling the required switch on here. That means that all contacts and clients added will need to have this field completed for them. You'll also notice on the right hand side that we have these warning signs. These simply tell you whether or not a field can be deleted. This could be down to the field being used as part of an integration, or perhaps there are contacts and clients that have this information on their records. Another thing to know is that this list right here is sorted alphabetically and the same thing applies when you're on the client record. So in order to group certain fields together and to keep certain types of fields consistently together, you might choose to insert words at the start. So for example, for all of your date fields, you might choose to insert key dates at the beginning. We can then apply that to all of the date fields Once we're done, we can click Save All Changes. You'll also notice now that all of these fields are grouped together in the same place. So now that you know how to add fields, go away and add all of your client fields into Pixie. You'll need to start doing this before you can start adding your clients and going through the client import process. Once you've done this, the same thing applies for all of your contact fields. By clicking on Contacts, we can start to add some additional fields here specifically for the contacts in Pixie. This works exactly the same, where we enter the field name and then choose whether or not it's a required field before hitting Save All Changes.